Hey guys, I'm going to be really real with you today. <laughs> We're doing our um, March 2020 monthly plan with me. Um, and man, it's it's really real. I just, so I'm, um, I'm going to be honest and I'm going to be wordy and I'm not going to edit very much. And I'm going to just talk because it's just been a heck of a couple of months for me. Um, I talked about a little bit of this in, like, my pregnancy announcement video, that um, things are just not, for, for those reasons, basically, um, because of the pregnancy, um, things have been a little bit tricky for me with the planning, and um, it just has been the last couple of months, and then it's just one thing after another. So, like, all of January, I had this cold, but on top of it, I had first trimester fatigue, and then February, the fatigue has been slowly, slowly working its way away. Um, I am, as of recording, 11 weeks and one day. And fortunately, I'm I'm one of the lucky ones that has pretty normal pregnancies. Like, my morning sickness has been very mild. I've only thrown up once. That we're going to get to. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, so the, the fatigue is actually, I think, finally gone. And that's good news. Um, and then, yeah, so February I was kind of working through it, trying to figure it out, trying to just give myself a little bit of grace and wiggle room, but still, like, get the bare bones done. Um, but then uh, this last weekend we got a stomach bug. So on top of, like, the cold that I had in... January, cold ahead in December. <laughs> then my daughter brings home a stomach virus from her babysitter's house, which, you know, kids get sick, whatever. And sometimes it gets the parents sick, or almost always. So, you know, that's fine. But that was what we were doing this weekend. We had plans. We were going to work on the yard um, and, you know, start kind of bringing it into the spring because we need a do all of the, I don't know, aerating and fertilizing and whatever. Um, and that uh, didn't happen for one thing because it was raining on Saturday, or at least it was gonna rain on Saturday. And then because we both, me and my husband both ended up with a stomach bug. And so that's the only time that I have actually thrown up this pregnancy. I was like, all Saturday, like... Is, uh, is this just like morning sickness again? Because I feel just really ugh, off and nauseous and queasy and just not good. And um, then I threw up and I was like, oh man, I guess, I guess it wasn't over because I was starting to feel better. And then by that evening when Gina was like, I feel kind of queasy too. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> the morning sickness is over. And that honestly gave me so much... Um, comfort knowing that like it was temporary because we knew because you know we were not the first ones to catch this stomach virus that it um, only lasts like a day though it lasts a day in toddlers uh, it lasts a little bit longer in adults <laughs> turns out that uh, toddlers just don't get that sort of general unease and unwillingness to do things that uh, that adults do if you feel generally crummy, you're like, okay, let me go get an extra nap. Toddlers, they're like, nah, I'm going to play with Legos. So anyway, it was uh, it was over. Fortunately, yesterday, Monday, I felt a lot better. And I, today, like yesterday was super busy. So I didn't get a lot of like to-do list stuff checked off. But it was fine because I had places to be and things to do. Um, but yeah, today, Tuesday, like I woke up early because I knew I was feeling well. And I'm just, I'm all ready to go. So I'm, um, I'm here decorating my March monthly. Last month I was using the My Summer Touch 2500 all-in-one monthly. If you followed me on Instagram, you may have sort of seen some of my ups and downs with it. There are a lot of things about it that we're working okay and well for me and other things not so much. Um, it's hard to distinguish in my mind which of those things 
were problems because of where I was and which of them were problems because I didn't gel with, you know, some of the layout of the monthly or it just was different and new and I wasn't in the right place to be trying something different or new. I was looking for something that didn't need a lot of thought put into setting it up. But the problem with that is that it takes more thought to use it. And so it kind of ended up being part of the reason why I wasn't super productive. But I'm not blaming it on the on the insert. I'm blaming it on where I've been. So there we go. Eh, haven't used these stamps in a while. Why not? Okay. Oh dear. A number of things. I uh man, so I'm like, do I do green? Do I do green for March? Um or, because, like, okay, yeah, obviously green is St. Patrick's Day. But, like, that was my entire childhood. I don't know if I, uh, if you know this about me, I did Irish step dance for, yeah, my entire childhood. Um, I'm gonna, let's see, do like this. It was basically, we were homeschooled, so it was basically our, our physical education, our PE class was, uh, was Irish dance classes, and, and then we competed, and. It was, yeah, it was a lot. And so, you know, between classes and competitions, yeah, that's, you know, every every weekend, a weekend, maybe every other month or so we would compete. Um, but what was really crazy busy was March, because as we got a little bit older and into high school and stuff, um, we also took up the fiddle. We had some friends who played accordion and... Um, Basically, the idea is that in order to maintain your competition eligibility, like you're in the Olympics or something, um, you're not supposed to get paid to dance, right? You can't be a professional. No one was going to, like, come knocking on our door, I don't think, but we were all very good, honest kids, and we wanted to make sure that we were staying um, above board. <laughs> so we would do these shows, and we'd do private shows, like, not just one. We would get some through the, the school. You know, people would contact the local dance school and say, hey, we're looking for some people to come to our St. Patrick's Day fundraiser and, you know, do some dances and they would maybe donate to the, the dance school. Um, but we wanted to make a little bit of spending cash. It was, um, a couple families of friends. Um, and so we, uh, we learned to play the instruments and we had like our own website and stuff. And we would like, not really market, but we'd like reach out to people and say, oh, hey, you know, this is what we charge for, you know, a half hour show or whatever. And um, it was, you know, pretty decent. We charged a few hundred bucks. It was, it was okay. We weren't looking to make like bank or anything. Um, but yeah, we, um, obviously they were paying to see the dancers. They're like accordions, you know, middle school and high schoolers playing accordion moderately okay was not the reason that people were coming to their fundraiser um they were paying to see the dancers but we um took the money and split it up between the musicians and then those the younger kids who didn't play instruments this just got um who only danced they got like a donation um from us older kids like a you know a thank you gift as opposed to being paid to dance which is the point um, Oh, well, let's see. Oh, yeah. So I was going to talk about how I was using my Summer Touch last month. And uh, this month I'm not. I'm going back to what I was using in November, which is this guy. Eh, it's a Peanuts Planner Co. insert. I forget which number it is. I didn't look it up before I got here. Um, It's a two-page thing, and this is the left page, but I printed it on the right. Um, But I kind of like that it's like the small, it's got a grid, which is nice. And then it's um got room for a couple dates here. And then on the back, I have a different insert that's just... um. 1 through 31 printed out uh, with a line for each. So this is where I put uh, date specific tasks. And then this is back to my trusty uh, context list where everything is uh, contextualized, which I guess I'll put headers for. See if I can remember what those headers are. Um, it's been it's been a month since I've done this. I believe it goes five minutes. And then, yeah, anywhere, then, 
computer, then home, and then errand. Helps me keep track of all of those, and then I can go down and quickly look at the first two columns if I'm like, what should I do right now? Or if I'm at home, I'll look at the home column. Hence, context. Doing a little bit more washi tape up here as well. Uh, so, yes, I just covered why I'm using Peanuts Planner Co. It's because it's something that I've used before, and I decided I wanted to, to do that. Something that just feels a little bit more comfortable right now. And then the reason that I... Um, I'm using green because obviously green is for St. Patrick's Day, but I'm using a little bit of yellow as well because I uh, still have a lot, a lot of memories tied up in St. Patrick's Day, and I'm trying to get it to be a little bit more of like a spring green. So we've got some sunflowers, which I know are summer flower, but they're yellow, and yellow is springy. So there we go. Why are those? It looks okay. All right, I've got my future log here. I'm going to be pulling all these dates out. So we've got, because I'll put them in the order that they're listed on here. Because somehow it just seems weird to me if they're all listed in date order here, and then you add something that's out of order at the bottom of the list. So I'm going to add them out of order to begin with. The 13th, I've got my mom's group. On the 1st, I think we have something this weekend. Uh, let's see. I also have some general to-do lists. We don't have Good Friday as a company holiday anymore. Instead, we get two floating holidays, so I'm going to have to request one of them. Um, what computer is this? Um, I'll have to request one of them as my floating holiday. Uh, one of my floating holidays for Good Friday. Let's see. Third is the election. Though, I probably don't need to put it here, because I think I'm going to vote on Saturday. Uh, because they're doing it differently in our county this year. You're allowed to vote um, up to, I think, 11 days in advance. Like, voting has already opened, like, in-person voting. Um, oh, no, that doesn't go there. It's here. And so um, the local, like the nearest uh, polling place to me has um, in-person voting starting this weekend. So I'm going to go on Saturday. That's going to be pretty cool to vote on a Saturday. Maybe, I don't know, bring my toddler and show her how democracy works. When I was really little... We used to, uh, we would vote at the Golden Residence, just a local in our neighborhood, a family would open up their garage um, and volunteer to be the polling place. And so it was just in our neighborhood, we would walk there. My mom was a stay at home mom, by the time I have this memory anyway. Um, and do I want to put, do I need to put, I'll put them on here. Birthdays. I'm going to put birthdays on the calendar itself. I'm going to put little dots. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Um, and we would... Um, this was like in the days of the hanging chads and the punch card ballots, right? So we... Um, would actually, they would have like a sample one that was basically there for people who were new to voting or who needed to be shown how to do it instead of being shown on like an actual ballot that they would have to either submit or destroy. They had a sample ballot, but it had all of these um, just like kind of joke candidates or whatever. It was like you vote for president and it was like um, between 
George Washington and Abraham Lincoln and Thomas Jefferson. And then you would vote for like Secretary of the Interior. And it was like Teddy Roosevelt and Sacagawea <laughs> or something like that. And there was one ballot initiative, shall hot dogs be served at all sporting events? And one year I voted no, just to be contrary and ornery and silly. So that's, that's my memory of learning about voting growing up. Um, but I don't think they have that anymore. And even if they did, it, she's too young for it. But let's see, that's going to be here. We have some date specific requirements, pay the mortgage. Razor. Not talking during this part. Hope you don't mind. I was supposed to say this at the beginning that when I do these like wordy, you know, real, like I'm not going to edit these kinds of plan with me's, you should definitely put these on in the background while you're doing something else so that you don't feel like you've wasted any part of your day. <laughs> that I don't feel like I've wasted any part of your day. I like the idea that it's like an actual plan with me, you know, like, um, you know, we're all just sort of friends, brought our planners together, and we're sitting around a table just filling out our monthlies. Definitely rely on these um, date-specific tasks at the beginning of every week. So I know I'm not missing anything important. So these are more important than others. Just a couple more. Ooh, okay, yes. Water filter. The one on the sink is fine. The one in the fridge is the one I have to worry about. Uh, all right, that's it. That's the one that um, I installed it incorrectly. The O-ring was like off or something. Excuse me, and um, I didn't notice. I changed it. I was like, oh, real quick, let's just change them. They came in the mail. Let's change the filters. Um, and then I, you know, went back to work and I came back in the evening and realized that there was just a puddle all over the floor. Uh, and it had ended up actually seeping underneath our bathroom floor into the guest room. And that's where we could see it with the carpet. And we had to call the home insurance people and that was not fun. So last time I needed to change the water filter in the fridge, I made my husband do it because I don't trust myself to do that anymore. So there's going to be more tasks on here um, that get migrated from the current February setup, which is just like a generic to-do list. Um, and that I will do later this week once I've had a chance to get more of them done, hopefully. Um, I wish this didn't have this little ink smudge, but what do you do? Um, let's see, yeah, the dots mean birthdays, and I actually do know whose birthdays they are, so it's just going to be a reminder, and I'll see, like, okay, birthday dot, I know whose birthday that is. I know to contact that person. Um, so that's fine, and I think that's looking good. I'll stick that in the front. Then this is what I'm going to be using for weeklies. Um, I'll just have this out as a sort of teaser for that. Uh, I'm, going to use, I'm going to try out this yellow micron over the pencil. Uh, and I'll show you what I'm planning. I'm not going to set these up right now. Um, I do a weekly plan with me once a month as well. So subscribe if you're not already so that you don't miss that. If you want to see what I'm doing here, I'm going to let that like dry before I erase the pencil. So I'm going to be using these uh, My Summer Touch Week on Fold Out Undated inserts. Uh, let's see, here we go. So each one 
There we go. Each one is on a fold out like this. Uh, so you just have, you know, your days down this side. And then there's two full pages of grid paper, which I, you can use for anything. And so I do generally make a weekly to-do list. Um, I'll put dinners. I can arrange it however I want, depending on how I'm feeling and how much space I need. Um, I like these. I used them a while back. I, I don't remember exactly, but if you go back to my uh, weekly plan with me's playlist, you will see uh, probably pretty quickly which one it was. Uh, I'm going to use these again. And I think I'm going to be happy, hopefully, using something that I've used before. Um, these blank pages go with it. I probably don't need to put them all in there. And then these are a couple dailies. Um, sometimes I feel like I want to use dailies and sometimes I don't. I have some, this is upside down. I have some of these Peanuts Planner Co. Daily Stickies that I've been using for that purpose. Um, but I thought that just, you know, in case the little nagging feeling of guilt, because you have to purchase these, you know, as a, a physical product that gets shipped. And so it's like, oh, when they're gone, they're gone and I'll have to order more and then it'll take a week to get here and all that. Um, not so with printables. I love a printable. These are my Summer Touch undated dailies. Um, and so the plan with these is if I feel like I need a daily, here we go. I printed them only on one side. I printed a grid on the other because we may as well have something useful. Um, and so if I want a daily, I will use this one, but I won't have to keep it in there. I can just throw it out after that day is over. Um, that way I, I don't really decorate my dailies because they're so transient. Um, and I can use this for whatever's going on in my day and then get rid of it. Um, and not have to keep like a Tuesday in here randomly until I need the back of it on a Saturday. Um, I'll just use one when I want to. So I'll keep these in here with my weeklies and that will be what I've got. So that's everything. Um, that wasn't actually very long. I thought this would go on forever, but it can't because I do have to go back to work at some point. Uh, I had a lot of stuff that I was thinking I might be rambling about today. It's, um, it's, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling, man, I'm feeling better. It's, it feels good to feel good. And I'm so glad that I'm back to myself. Knock on wood and crossed fingers that I don't get sick again or get, you know, terrible symptoms again. Because right now I'm really excited to be moving into, you know, I think it's another week or two technically before I'm second trimester, but I'm really close and I'm feeling good. Like I'm in that sweet spot again. And it's, it's the best time to be pregnant. It's second trimester in the spring, right? So... That's what I've got for you today. I hope that you enjoyed that. If you did and you're not already subscribed, there's a button for that. If you like the video, there's a button for that. Um, if you're the kind of person who rings a bell, you know what I'm going to say. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you in the next video on Sunday. Bye.